A lot of people don't know this, but Logan Paul in KSI's Prime Energy for a long time has already been banned in some schools. Many head teachers don't want you to bring bottles of it into the playground, and some are banning the drink completely. And in the past, the US Senator even formally asked the FDA to investigate Prime. The energy drink Prime, Chuck Schumer, is warning parents and calling on the FDA to investigate. But honestly, that's not the biggest problem. In the year 2007, a radio station in California ran a contest, a water drinking contest, meaning whoever drank the most water won. Not smart. Now the main rule was that you were not allowed to go to the bathroom during the contest. That's why they even gave it the name Hold Your Wee for a Wee. Jennifer, I heard that it's not, you're not doing too well. My head hurts. This is what it feels like when you're drowning. There's a lot of water inside of you. Oh, it hurts. And the participant you've just heard that took part in the competition Died. To drink a lot of water, and one a woman who did that died. But how? So that brings us to Prime. In the last video, I showed you Jake Paul in all his glory. Hey, smile. Smile. It's fine, right? But in this video, his brother completely stole the spotlight without getting punched in the jaw. Because two and a half years ago, Logan Paul and KSI launched a drink called Prime. Actually, two drinks. One is Prime Hydration. Prime Hydration. The other is Prime Energy. Prime Energy. Meaning one is marketed as an electrolyte drink, while the other is caffeinated. In conclusion, both amazing tasting, better for you product. And keep that in mind because we'll get back to that in a sec. Now, at one point, a single bottle was selling for almost 30 bucks. This is the world's first Prime vending machine, and you won't believe how much they're charging. $30. Which isn't Prime. It's a crime. But lately we see reports that Prime Hydration UK's revenue plunged by 70%, almost by $100 million in just one year, which is close to the goal I have this year. But in my case, I want to increase it to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We got Prime, boys. We got Prime. Now, they're counting on kids to ask their parents to buy it. You can't drink Prime every day. Wow. That was literally posted on their page. It's marketed as a sports drink. They compare it to other sports drinks. I will go in bottle for bottle. Blue Prime versus Blue Gatorade. They also sign deals with major sports teams like Barcelona, Arsenal, and the UFC. But the real question is, is it really a sports drink or is it basically just a fancy tap water? Trying Prime for the first time. To answer that, we don't want to jump to conclusions, rather to research papers to see if you were fooled. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, no, that's nauseating, that's a zero. Tastes like filth. So according to Paul, the hydration drink contains BCAAs that help with recovery and muscle growth. 250 milligrams of BCAAs, branch chain amino acids help aid in muscle recovery and growth. Oh gosh. It only has 25 calories. Prime stick. 25. And it contains almost 900 milligrams of electrolytes. Prime stick has 871 milligrams of electrolytes. To decide if this bottle of Prime is good, bad, or just a fat, you have two options. One, listen to Logan Paul. We got burnt chain amino acids and that shit, bro. Two, read the scientific literature. It's 25 calories. For some reason, an unexplainable force pulls me toward option two. The drink by KSI and Logan Paul is a hydration drink. That's exactly how they market it, meaning it contains electrolytes. But why? So when we sweat, for example, from hugging someone's knees, we lose electrolytes. In this table, you can see the main ones and how much. And here's a nice infographic so it will be easier to catch it visually. Now, the main one is sodium. And that's also why our sweat is salty. Now, Logan Paul compared his drink to competing sports drink and said this. What I has 870 milligrams of electrolytes. And the frog stick has 871 milligrams of electrolytes. Meaning they have more electrolytes. The thing is, not all electrolytes are born equal. With one click, you can open two websites, and with another, you can compare them both. In Paul and KSI's drink, there's a lot of potassium and almost no sodium. In the comparing drink, it's the opposite. A lot of sodium, the salt, and less potassium. That's why here, Logan Paul said this. Liquid IV is, it's not bad, but it is a little salty. That's on purpose. Imagine July in Arizona, above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or above 40 degrees Celsius. Not this Celsius, one drink at a time. But if you saw a woman running an ultra marathon that day, she would have a real risk of developing, you guessed it right, exercise associated hyponatremia, which in simple terms mean low sodium concentration in the blood. That can cause headaches, vomiting, confusion, and 
even death. And that's exactly what happened to the woman from the story at the beginning. Only in her case, she didn't lose sodium. Nothing left her body. They weren't allowed to pee. It's they weren't allowed to go to the bathroom. That was the context. Right. But a lot of water went in. That diluted the sodium in her blood and its concentration dropped. During prolonged activity, especially in the heat, if you sweat a lot and also drink more water than needed, you can both lose electrolytes and dilute them. That's why we sometimes see recommendations to supplement sodium through sports drinks for prolonged endurance activity. So bottom line, is Paul's drink even suitable for that? We got prime, boys. We got prime. <gasps> No. According to the ISSN position stand on sports drinks, the recommended amount of sodium in sports drinks during prolonged exercise is 460 to 690 milligrams per liter, and for potassium, it's 80 to 200 milligrams per liter. And in Paul's formula, it was the opposite. Why? Good question, kid. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer. So regarding electrolytes, electrolytes. I don't know who wrote the formula, but it looks like they weren't drinking prime, rather alcohol. We got prime, boys. But what about the BCAAs? They help with recovery and muscle growth, right? Brain chain amino acids help aid in muscle recovery and growth. Oh my gosh. Well, no. We got brain chain amino acids and that shit, bro. We have multiple reviews showing that BCAA supplementation does not meaningfully improve performance, does not build more muscle, and doesn't improve recovery. Proteins are made of amino acids, including BCAAs. So if you already consume enough protein during the day, you're already getting enough BCAAs. Which makes this claim help aid in muscle recovery and growth. Oh gosh. Be surprised? Unsupported. Now for the bigger problem and last topic, kids. Yeah! Yes, Tick Schmuck isn't just an app that rots your brain or spreads trends faster than smallpox. The challenges on that platform can and already have led to deaths among teenagers. Most of the people buying Prime are kids anyways and Paul and Olatunji know that. Again, they're the ones who posted this on their Tick Schmuck. Wow. But not only does a can of Prime Energy contains 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is completely not recommended for a 6, 8, 10 year old or kids in general. We got Prime. But the amount of potassium in the prime hydration is also very high. Especially when the main consumers are kids, not marathon runners. A 10 year old drinking only two bottles can already reach 60 to 80% of the daily recommended intake. And let's be clear, that supplementation, not potassium coming from a normal diet which already contains potassium. So, is this a legitimate sports drink? No. Would I drink it? Also no. One glass of tap water plus a banana would probably provide a better effect. Is it suitable for kids? Paul's targeted audience? Also no. Wow. One drink won't kill anyone, but it won't help anyone either. It only helps to inflate the seller's wallet and legitimize more TikTok trends designed to cash in on you. So instead of wasting money on unproven products, it's better to invest in knowledge and evidence-based information, like you can do by subscribing. You can also support the channel by joining the membership. Don't forget to like, share, watch my other videos, especially the Jake Paul video that I uploaded last week. And I'll see you in the next one. You can't drink Prime every day. Why? Why?